Spectre Console allows you to turn your C Sharp console apps into visually appealing, informative applications. In this series of videos, we are learning how to take full advantage of this library in 10 minute chunks. The source code is available as a link in the description. In this lesson, we're going to look at how to format text in the console, including how to set up preset formatting styles that can be reused. If you like this series, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and visit imtimcorey.com for more training resources. Let's get started. So here we have our project. I got the previous lessons hidden behind a region. It's probably the only time I've used a region in the past 15 years, but we now want to jump in and look at styling. Let's start with what we've seen previously a little bit, which is ANSI console dot markup line which is markup and markup line. Markup does not give you that line return at the end where markup line does. It's kind of like console write versus write line. So we're going to you know, put a message in here and we'll put in square brackets, something like um, red, and then say this is the inline markup and then close it out like so. And if you want to bring over our terminal, which is still up, we can say .NET run and see this is our inline markup. Okay. So we want to learn a bit more about how to do better inline markup. So what if you wanted to change more things? For example, what the foreground and background? Not a problem. Red on white. So now it's a red text on a white background. And if we run that, then we'll see there's our red text, white background. Cool. And if we want to go even further, we could say, how about um, let's make it uh, bold. Okay. We save that. We come back over here. We restart this. And there's our bold red text on a white background. So we can kind of, you know, just put all of our stylings in here. Now, this isn't the most visually appealing way of writing our text. It's great for a quick little thing you want to do, but it's not really great for all the rest. Okay. So if you wanted to have a preset style, how would you do that? Well, I'm glad you asked because we're going to do just that. We're going to say style, we'll call it danger style, um, equals new. And I'm going to put in here, let's put on new lines. Um, I'm going to designate, notice you can say foreground, which is null, background null, decorations null, and a link is null. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a style using foreground, background, and or decoration. So we'll say foreground colon, and then say color dot red. Okay, and then background, well, I don't want color dot green. I want color dot white to match what we did before. Um, and then we'll do one more and that's decoration. Now you don't have to do all three of these. You can do just two of them or one of them, but I'm going to do all three to show you how to do all of them. And then you can pick which ones you want to do. Let's just say decoration dot bolt. Okay, so there's our new style, but how do we apply this to our, our text? Well, what we're going to do is use a different command, ANC console dot write, not write line, just write. And the reason why we can't use write line is because write line takes a string or other types, kind of like console dot write line does as a 23 overloads, but write, write has one that is an I renderable. Right line does not. So we need that I renderable to render out our text and our markup. So we're going to say new markup. And here we can say danger text um, from style. And then we're going to pass in as a second parameter to the markup, we can pass in danger, which is our markup or our style. So we now have, it's a bit more work. And personally, I'd create an overload for write, or I would do something similar so we can just pass in the text and the style and it does all this for you. But this is the syntax for writing out 
your text with a style that's separate. So you've got a style class that's instantiated. We pass that in and say, apply it to this text. Now, what this is not capable of doing like so is it's not capable of saying, okay, just do these first words, which we could, you know, here we could just move this earlier and it would turn off the styling. So there's a place for both of these, but this allows us to take a style that we have preset and then apply it to our text. So let's save this and let's run this one. And what we'll see is that looks pretty similar, right? But if you're an eagle eyed observer, you can see there's a little bit of twitching over here at the right hand side. The reason why is the cursor is right where my, cur my cursor is, uh, my pointer is. So the style, it's on the same line because it's a right, not a right line. Well, how do you fix that? Well, what you do is you would say uh, slash N, okay? You would put a new line in there. And now if we run this, you'll see that the blinking cursor is on the new line. So now they are visually the same. Okay, so now what we need to do is look at what if you wanna apply more than one decoration. For example, I wanna apply italics too. Well, you'd use a single pipe character and then say decoration dot whatever you want. And notice this list here, you can read through it, bold, rapid, blink, italic, conceal, strike through. Um, there's also dim, invert, um, none, rapid blink, slow blink, strike through and underline. Now I will tell you if you're on Windows and you're using the terminal as your Windows terminal as the uh, terminal of choice, well, the rapid blink and slow blink are the same thing, okay? Um, I've read the code because it, there's some, you know, it didn't use to support blink at all and now it does, um, but it only supports slow blink. And so rapid blink, it treats as slow blink. Just so you know, there's just one blink as of right now in terminal. Um, so we won't see a difference there. But in our case, you want to apply italic. Now, as you might guess, this means you can apply more than two decorations. You can apply as many as you want, pretty much. Um, just pipe between them. So now if we run this again, we will see that we have italic for our danger text from style. So you can mix and match these how you want, um, and you can create styles that are presets that you can then just apply to a bit of text. And again, since it's a write, well, you could write danger text and then write, you know, without the new line, and then say um, ANSI console dot write, and then just say um, and more like so, and then you can even put a right line up here if you want, right line like so. So if we did that, well, that's gonna essentially put that and more in line with this text. So you could kind, you can make this in line, which is why it just did right, because you might want to highlight just a piece of your, your text, kind of like if you moved this ending earlier, you might want to just style part of that text. And that's what they're doing here with the right. So you can just write line more afterwards or do another right with different uh, styling, et cetera. So lots of options here with your styling, but you can figure out which one works for you in different situations. You have options. So you can either do the inline style and use the markup or markup line, or you can use the, um, preset styles that you create and apply them onto markup objects when you do console or ANSI console.write. Okay, so those are your options. Try them out with, with different colors and backgrounds and decorations and all the rest um, and see what you like. All right, thanks for watching. As always, I am Tim Corey.